I am Anil Kumar and here is a rational inequality to solve. Question is solve half of x minus 2 less than 5 over 2x. To solve any rational inequality we should begin by writing down the restrictions and the restriction here is that x is not equal to 0. Second step is that we should bring all the terms to one side. So bringing 5 over 2x to left we get half of x minus 2 minus 5 over 2x is less than 0. Now let's take a common denominator and in this case the common denominator is 2 times x. So to make half of x as 2 times x we need to multiply both by x. So we get x squared in the numerator. In this case we have to multiply by 2x so it is 2 times 2x and here it will be minus 5 less than 0. So in the numerator what we get is x square minus 4x minus 5 and the denominator is 2x less than 0. Now that's a quadratic equation which can be factored. We need product of minus 5 sum of minus 4. So it could be written as x minus 5 times x plus 1 divided by 2x as less than 0. So now we have an inequality in factored form which we can solve using interval right so we have zeros in the numerator let's list them out so let me first write down the inequality as such and then we'll solve so we have x minus 5 times x plus 1 divided by 2x less than 0 correct so in this case we have zeros which are at let's write all our zeros zeros are at plus 5 and then we have at minus 1 and this is asymptote at at 0 right so at 0 we have an asymptote so these these are the discontinuities of our function this is the discontinuity these are the zeros so now we'll make our intervals which will be let us say let's make a table here okay so in this table we list all these things in sequence zeros I recommend to put as solid dots here zeros at 5 so this is at 5 and then we have at minus 1 1 zero so which I'm putting as a solid dot minus 1 it is not a restriction but the vertical asymptote at 0 is a restriction so I put it like a hole here which is at 0 okay now these zeros in the numerator and zeros in the denominator divide our plane into one two three four parts and these could be written as from minus infinity to minus one minus one to zero zero to five and from five to infinity so these are the intervals let me write down intervals here now within these intervals let's take some test points on the left side of minus 1, minus 2 could be a test point. Here, minus 0 0.5. In this case, 1 and 6 could be a good test point to take, right? Now, let us consider all our factors one by one. So, the factor which gives you 0 at minus 1 is x plus 1. The one which gives you discontinuity at 0 is 2x. You have to write 2 and x, okay? And the third one is x minus 5. Now at each test point, let us see. If I place minus 2 for x, I get a negative value. But if I place minus 0 0.5, I get positive and I'll get positive for these also. For 2x, these two are negative, this is positive. For x minus 5, this is negative, negative 1 will also give me negative. But 6 will give me a positive value, right? Now, when we have multiplication and division of these factors, then what do we get? Three negatives will give us one negative. Two negatives will give us a positive. One negative is negative. All positive will result into positive. We are looking for less than zero. That means negative, right? So these intervals are the solution for the given situation, right? So we can now write down the answer as 
from minus infinity to minus 1 and which is also represented by union and from 0 to 5. So that is the answer for the given inequality, right? So remember, when you have to solve rational inequalities, do not cross multiply, just bring all the terms to one side, take common denominator, factor them, and then analyze each part of the interval with the help of test values. I hope that's absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.